So Blank Lights is a classic when it comes to hard ops, you know, freshly made, but still a classic nonetheless. If we hover over Add Lights, we see that its tooltip says Blank Lights, and it creates a, basically a randomized light rig. Uh, regular clicking it will bring up just a regular light rig scroll system. Shift clicking it will bring up what's called the expanded system, which to show that it basically has its own UI where you can scroll over to dice and look at different combinations. Similar to the help I was showing, there's also additional options that can be done here. And also clicking on help will allow you to change various things with it. But before we actually get into that, I'm gonna right click cancel. And let's say that you were brand new to Hard Ops. You just purchased this product and you just got it installed. One of the first things I would recommend giving a try to is adding a blank material to your model, then beveling it, then shift A, add a plane, S80 GZ minus one in order to lower it down and make it a floor. And then we'll put a blank material on that. And let's jump over to render and we can press Alt V and jump over into blank light. And so from here, you can just scroll through light rigs until you find a lighting setup that you actually like for starting out. And with this in mind, now we can just select a floor, add a different blank material to that. Maybe press Alt V, change to blank light again, and just change this to a different type of lighting setup. But it really should take no work at all for users to be able to find the type of light rig that they want. Right now, you might notice that the scrolling that I'm doing is kind of centered on just a particular type of light, which is area. If we press E, we can actually enable extra lights, will allow us to get sun lights and point lights also inside of our randomized rigs that we're generating. And while this cube is really nothing to look at, we also probably need an HDR to help us out. So that's where, you know, if we press Q and we go back under blank lights again or add lights, we can just scroll through these combinations. You can also use the help, which one of my favorite options in this is pressing C to change the color. You keep the exact same rig, but you can change the color. And by moving the mouse, you're able to move this thing around. You're also able to add fog to it by going to expanded mode. However, that's something that we'll save for a dedicated video. You might also notice that you have the ability to press Shift S and save a configuration. So let's try that. We press Shift S and it allows us to type in a name where we can just call this test light one. And by pressing enter, we've now saved this. So let's actually scroll through random lights. We forever lost that first one that we're looking at. And this is where we are now. This is now our light rig. So let's say that we wanted back the one that we saved. We could press Alt V, go under blank light, and we see that we have an option here for J. And by pressing J, we can actually call back the test light that we saved. So users are able to save and recall their light setups that they save and create using this blank light system. And there's more to it than even that. Let's say that we did not absolutely like our light placement or we wanted to refine it a little bit. So we'll grab this light and I'll just shift D, move it around. Because it's not being tracked, I can just move it freely without it having to auto track to anything. If you're the type of user who wants his lights to track to the empty, there is an opt-in option to have blank lights automatically constrained to the empty, which may be useful for this situation. Let's press Alt, Alt V and then we'll just go in here and just scroll through our lights and just find a combination, maybe Alt V, press J to recall it. And now we actually have these and they should maybe even be constrained this time, even though we didn't save them constrained. So real nice of us to be able to deal with that on the fly. So we're just gonna duplicate this light, move it around. Maybe we wanna hit it with some pink from more, more sides, maybe get a little hotter. So we're focusing back in on the shape and at this point, instead of rolling a new rig altogether, what we wanna do is control click it where we can actually roll through different combinations, but we wanna keep the exact same lights because let's say we were going for a particular type of lighting amount, but we just want to scroll through endless combinations. We can do that and still just press C to just get random colors and eventually just find the exact color that we want. We could press W and just switch everything to white. So no matter the scroll, we can just jump everything to white if needed, if you're just wanting just very static setups. However, I've become such a fan of some of these random colors that just peek in from time to time, especially when you are pressing C. So in a nutshell, blank lights there for you to just help you create a blank light rig that can be scrolled for those times where you just need to quickly just throw some light in your scene and you don't feel like 
playing with the exact placement or rig assembly.